Hey guys, this is Mr. Grace for Algebra 2, Unit 5.5, Notes. Today we're talking about writing polynomial functions given their real zeros. Our learning target today is to be able to write real zeros as factors in order to write a polynomial function. So, uh, when we are writing polynomial functions, the first thing we have to do is to write the real zeros as factors. So, if we have x equaling negative 4, Sorry, that should be a negative right there. The real zero or the equivalent factor for that is x plus 4. Well, Mr. Grace, how did you get that? Well, it's like working backwards. So if we were to solve this, x plus 4 equal to 0, I would subtract the 4 to get negative 4. So if my um, real zero was x equals 4, the equivalent to that would be x minus 4. Okay? So after we get those, there's going to be three of them. We're going to multiply the factors. Okay, so after we do this, we need to multiply the factors to create a polynomial. And then the last thing is we have to make sure to name the polynomial like f of x or g of x or h of x or whatever variable you you function you want it to be. It doesn't matter. Okay, so write a cubic function by using the real zeros given. So we've got x equals 4, negative 2, and 3. So I'm going to have 1, 2, 3 uh, factors. Okay. So for x equaling 4, the factor for that would be x minus 4. For x equals negative 2, it would be x plus 2. For x equaling 3, that would be x minus 3. Okay, and that's how we get that first part. And now we're going to start multiplying. Okay, so x times x, we get x squared. x times 2, I get a positive 2x. Negative 4 times x, I get negative 4x. And then negative 4 times 2 is negative 8. So I'm only going to focus on that first one. Now I'm going to combine my like terms. And we get x squared minus 2x minus 8 and x minus 3. Now, you can multiply that however you want. If you want to distribute or would you be more comfortable doing box method? Okay, I'll try to mix up how I do it. So we get x squared minus 2x minus 8 and x minus 3, and then I'm just going to multiply. x times x squared is x cubed. x times negative 2x is a negative 2x squared. x times negative 8 is a negative 8x. Okay, negative 3 times x squared, negative 3x squared. Negative 3 times negative 2 is a positive 6x. Negative 3 times negative 8 is a positive 24. So when we write all that out, we get x cubed minus 5x squared minus 2x plus 24. Okay, so that's my cubic function, and then I just have to name it, so I'm just going to name it f of x. we're done. Okay? So the way we do this is look at my three answers that they give us, my three real zeros, and then I do the opposite. So instead of x minus 1, it's going to be x plus 1. Instead of x equaling a positive 5, it's going to be negative 5. Instead of negative 2, it's going to be a positive 2. And you can see that I've got 1, 2, 
three to match the three that I started with. Okay. So we distribute to two of them first. X times X, X squared. X times negative five, negative five X. One times X is a positive one X. One times negative five is negative five. And then my X plus two stays in the back. I'm gonna combine my like terms real quick. So we get X squared minus four X minus five times X plus two. Okay, now for this one, I'm just going to uh, distribute it, showing you all the arrows, just to show you how hard that can be. So I have x times x is x cubed. x squared times 2x is 2x. So now I gotta do negative four. Negative four times x, or sorry, that was negative 2x squared, positive 2x squared. Negative 4x times x is a negative 4x squared. Negative 4 times 2 is negative 8x. Negative 5 times x is negative 5x. Negative 5 times 2 is a negative 10. And it's just hard to keep track of all of that information. The only thing that's nice about it, at least the way that I did it, um, as you can see the like terms right next to each other, okay? So I'm just going to call this one g of x. We get x cubed minus 2x squared minus 13x minus 10. Okay, number three, why don't you see if you can write down all the factors yourself. Go ahead and pause the video and good luck. Did you do it or are you just waiting for me? Okay, you should have gotten X plus five, X plus six, and x plus seven. Okay, so go ahead and distribute x times x, we get x squared. x times six, we get six x. Five times x, we get five x. And five times six, 30. Okay, I'm gonna combine like terms. And we get x squared plus 11x plus 30. And then we have x plus 7. Okay? Now, you guys know me. I like doing box method because it's more organized. I'm actually going to do box for the rest of those. This is really, really hard for me to do that last one. So we have x squared plus 11x plus 30 and x plus 7. Okay, so x times x, we get x cubed. x times 11x, we get positive 11x squared. x times 30 is 30x. 7 times x squared is a positive 7x squared. 7 times 11 is a positive 77x. And then seven times 30, well, seven times three is 21, and I'm just gonna add a zero, so it's a positive 210, okay? My last one was G, so this one's gonna be my H of X. It's gonna be X cubed. My greens, my X squareds is a little 18 X squared. 77 plus 30 is 107 X plus, to 10. Okay, if you need a calculator, use a calculator to do it. It's okay. All right, let's move on to the next one. So we've got one, two, three, 
two, three. Okay. So remember, we do the opposites. X minus six. X plus three. X minus four. All right. Let's see if you can do the first distribution yourself. Go ahead and pause the video and good luck. Okay, so you should have gotten x squared minus 3x minus 18, and then x minus 4. Okay. And then I've got a trinomial times a binomial. So I'm just going to go ahead and do box method. x squared minus 3x minus 18, and then x minus 4. Why don't you guys... Oh, we'll do this part together. So x times x squared is x cubed. Remember, we add the exponents. x times negative 3x is negative 3x squared. x times negative 18 is a negative 18x. So that one wasn't too bad. Negative 4 times x squared is a negative 4x squared. Negative 4 times a negative 3 is a positive 12x. And negative 4 times negative 18. Well, negative times a negative is a positive. And remember, if you need your calculator for some of these, take it out. I believe it's 72. Uh, but let's double check. So negative 4 times negative 18. There we go, positive 72. Okay. And then just combine your like terms. We'll make this one j of x, x cubed minus 7x squared, because negative 4 minus 3. Uh, 12 minus 18 is negative 6x plus 72. Let's see if you can set it up and do the first distribution, and we will do the box method together. Okay? Go ahead and pause the video, and good luck. Okay, so you should have gotten x squared minus 6x minus 16, and then x plus 1. Okay, so after that, we're going to do the box method to multiply these guys out. x squared minus 6x minus 16. And then we got x plus 1. Don't be scared with some of these numbers. The first time all you're doing is adding an x. Okay, so that wasn't too hard. And the next one, we're just multiplying by 1. So it's a positive 1x squared, negative 6x, and negative 16. Okay? So we did uh, F, we did G, we did H, J, K. So this is going to be K of X. X cubed minus 5x squared minus 22x minus 16 is our final answer. Okay. Now the last one, you guys are all on your own. Okay. Well, maybe I'll help you set up the first part. But then the rest of it, all you. Okay, so just remember, opposite. So it's negative 5, positive 5. Negative 2, positive 2. Positive 6, negative 6. Okay, so good luck. I'll catch you at the final answer. Don't forget to label it. Good luck. And there you go, there's my final answer. We got x cubed plus 1x squared 
minus 32x minus 60. Now, if you have any questions or need extra help, please come see Ms. Carranza or myself. We would love to help you out. Your homework is 5.5 practice, which I do not have on here. So um, this is Mr. Grace signing off for Algebra 2 Unit 5.5 Notes. Thanks for watching.